We continue by making a multi-section surface for this section of the cockpit. Um, from looking at pictures and the drawings and whatnot, uh, it seems that a good approximation for the windscreen is that the section we just folded in there um, is nearly tangent to the rest of the fuselage skin. And forward of here, you begin to get the fuselage and the windscreen meeting at an angle. So we're going to fill it in two different sections, the one we just did, and the one I'm creating not quite yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Here I'm creating a sketch of a guideline to semi-represent the this portion of the fuselage. It's not going to be the actual shape, it's just going to be something that we can uh, start cutting things out of later. So we're creating a spline that will connect the nose section to the back part of the windscreen section of the fuselage, which you'll see here in a second. And with this new spline, we want it to be the height relative to the mid contour, using the mid contour as the midpoint. So we're going to create lines as we did earlier. We're going to define a midpoint on the line and we're going to constrain it to the bottom contour which will give us the final top point of the line. This sort of gives us a as gradual a change you can get going from the the nose section to the, the fuselage, the barrel of the fuselage. So here, that's where the back of this section will end. And again, just go about the same process that we did before where you keep adding lines, control lines, until you get a shape that looks appropriate and doesn't move too much when you add more lines. And this, this time I'm going to just evenly space a bunch of lines. I use the word evenly, loosely. But something like this. Okay, now using that, we will create a multi section surface as a guide, using that as a guide. Make sure it goes in the guide box, not the section box. And you see this doesn't look anything like the plane. And we're going to fix, uh, add tangents real quick to it. So this doesn't look anything like the actual plane, but we're going to cut the windscreen out of the section we just created. We're going to join all the sections first, though. Now we'll find the drawing back in here. 
So yeah, you can I mean, you can see the difference. But now we want to add our sketches that we created for the edge of the windscreen. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we're adding the sketches back here. Um, this one needs a little fixing from when I created the plane in the front where we started constraining everything. I think that was the last thing I did that adjusted this line, so we'll fix that a little bit. And so we're going to extrude these sketches and intersect them with the surface that we just created. I already have them extruded. But that's the one of the keys over for the icons over on the right there. And we're gonna use these as a, a knife to cut the multi section surface. Okay, first we're going to try an intersection instead with these rather than cutting. So see how this works out. And we'll, we'll, we'll cut. We're going to trim the uh, extrusions, get rid of the extra. using the cut tool, or the split tool, which is the tool with the saw. Press the other side button when it gives you a preview of the side that you don't want. And now intersecting each of these individually. Will give us guides out in space where we want to use or which we will want to use as the edges of the windscreen. <laughs> 